Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate to you guys a cool application for editing and creating PDFs called PDF Element 6 by Wondershare. 6 is the latest version which I think came out around last month. So in this application we're able to create and edit PDF files uh, much in the same way you would do with something like Adobe Acrobat or Foxit Phantom PDF. One of the things you probably already see without even opening up a PDF document is that this interface is very much in line with that you would see out of something like Microsoft Word. Uh, they've designed it so that the interface is easy to understand for people who are coming from that software suite, which is a lot of office workers out there. Um, pretty much whenever I've worked in the office, it's been Microsoft Office all the way. Uh, lots of people using Microsoft Word, Excel, and similar tools like that. So with the PDF opened up, we have these tabs at the top, which kind of have more like drop-down menus. These would actually be called ribbons if this was uh, Microsoft Office. And in these different uh, tabs of ribbons, whatever we're calling them, we have uh, basically all the options you need to create and edit PDFs. So we have quite a few options available to us, but not to the point where it goes overboard with too many features, many of which would never be used by pretty much anybody. Uh, most of the stuff here, like uh, being able to change your font, uh, strike through, create shapes, and of course, uh, adding in different form fields are things that people are definitely going to be using on a regular basis. Now over here on the protect tab, um, and I imagine that this aspect applies more in the corporate world, but you can password protect a PDF form so that only people who uh, actually have the right authority to change your document can go ahead and make modifications. You can set it so that things need to be permanently uh, changed by people with the proper authority. So for uh, corporations that need that kind of change management, um, that does exist within PDF Element 6, which is cool. Now let's go ahead and move on to the actual core of this application. Um, when you uh, want to work with PDFs, there's going to be a few different possibilities. One, you either want to create one from scratch. Two, you have a form that may not have all of the markings for form fields in PDFs, such as this right here. And the third is that you might actually need to scan a physical document. All of those can be done within PDF Element 6. And with the remainder of this video, we'll go ahead and demonstrate some of those functions so that you can see them in action. So here we have a form which is a PDF, but does not have any of the form fields attached to it. Now, why does the PDF not have the fields? Who knows? But the important thing is, if you're going to be editing forms or allowing people to fill out forms online, then you need to have those fields. But since it's already nicely formatted, there's something called form field recognition over here on the form tab, where we can click this. And because everything is labeled nicely, we have basically these lines corresponding with the uh, titles over here. And just by running that form field recognition tool, we can pretty much get every single field in this document automatically filled in with a uh, field. So assuming that this is exactly how you want it, uh, and more than likely you would need to change a few of these, like the names. Maybe we click down here and we rename that text field two to inspector name or things of that nature. But once you have it right, you can go ahead and close the form editing and you'll notice that each of these uh, lines that existed now, now have a field we can edit. And all you need to do is click in and uh, let's say that I am the inspector here for whatever reason. I'm now doing house inspections and you can just go ahead and fill in the form. So, yes, you could manually add in the fields, but because the fields in a way have already been filled out there, someone went ahead and created this PDF beforehand. You can actually add in the digital fields really quickly there. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that it's actually pretty good at figuring out uh, which kind of field it's supposed to be. So down here, the line would just indicate it's just another text field, but the word signature over here indicates that this field is meant to be a digital signature field, which you can manually add up here on the form bar. But uh, in order to actually add that, you would need to load up a digital ID or create a new digital ID. 
uh, which is a certificate file that is basically a unique identifier of the person. So now that we've demonstrated uh, loading up basically a format from an outside source and auto loading some of the fields and let's talk about uh, creating some fields manually. So I'm going to create a new file called test.pdf and it's going to drop us into the edit tab where we have some basic tools adding text, images, uh, links, headers, and footers if that's something we're interested in. And we can also have a numbering system on our page. So I'm going to say title of document over here. Just keep it really, really simple. Um, now, most of the tools for actually drawing stuff are going to be over on the comment tab. If you want st like shapes or underlines to show in the final uh, printout. So in some cases, uh, you may actually want to draw the outline of your form in an outside program and load that image up, which is very easy to do. If you have a PNG or JPEG uh, or even any PDF file, you add that in and then you can worry about the fields outside. But here we can do basically draw an underline, change the color to black. Um, now let's see, with form, we'll just put a text field right there and resize it to what we need. Double click it and we can change some of the fields over here. I actually know there is a uh, border colors if that's something you want to do there. So let's see here. Um, let's say name for the field. Okay, close that. And then we could just add in a little basic text over here for the name and probably edit it. So if you click on the outside of the area, basically right on the line when it turns blue, you should be able to move it. Okay, there we go. So obviously that is a really, really basic form there. Uh, but we're just trying to demonstrate some of these fields. So check boxes, if that's something that interests you, you can add that there. Let's just add some radio uh, boxes, add the checkbox, close that for editing. And then uh, obviously you can click on those. And you can also associate them in groups. So let's say we have three radio buttons here. Usually when you have radio buttons on a web page, uh, it's only one of them that can be selected at once. So you'll notice that the name of all of these defaults to group one, they're in the same group. So if I go exit out of formatic mode, we can see that only one will be selected at a time, whereas the checkboxes, you can have as many selected at a time as you want. Um, that's basically the same as how they work on the web as well. Then if you want that digital signature we were talking about there, uh, you can drag that in and it will uh, require whoever's going to sign the document to use their digital ID certificate. So note up here on the form toolbar that we do have tools for importing and exporting form data, which goes out to a .fdf file. So next I'd like to show you two ways of pulling your data out of uh, PDF element six into other usable formats. So first up here with data extraction, converting your PDF form fields into CSV format. Uh, that's comma separated values. Uh, if you know programming at all, uh, you know that CSV files are used all the time. So extract data from PDF form fields. Because we're working with uh, actual fields inside of this PDF form, we want that instead of scanned PDF. So I'm gonna hit next. Uh, we can add extra files if we wish, but we're just gonna do this one file for right now. And I'm going to start this conversion to a, CD, a CSV file. We're going to put it in data extract.csv. And we get all of the fields plus the data uh, listed down below. The uh, label of the fields up top and each entry of the fields down below. So if you grabbed 20 um, exports of that form, uh, you would have... 20 listings down here, assuming you grabbed them all and converted them all at the same time. And you'd have basically one big uh, kind of file to grab data from, and maybe you import that into something else. Uh, but there you go with that. So next up uh, on the home tab, I mentioned at the start that uh, PDF Element 6 really tries to cater to users of Microsoft Office. And here we have the option to convert our PDF to our MS Word document or also other options like Excel, PowerPoint, and HTML uh, web pages. So we're gonna do Word here, 
And I will simply save this form as a .docx, that's a Microsoft Word document. We'll replace it, just have it saved there. And this is the result of what it looks like inside of Microsoft Word. Uh, this is 2016 Microsoft Word, by the way, and it looks like pretty much a perfect conversion. Now, it's worth mentioning that as a .docx file, uh, you can try to load it in LibreOffice, but in LibreOffice Writer, uh, there were some issues with the display of these form elements. So if you're going to be using PDF element, you probably want to use that directly with Microsoft Office specifically. But uh, for this purpose, it seems to have done a very good job there. Uh, pretty much everything is spot on. Now, I did go ahead and try a couple more formats. Uh, over here on the left, we have the HTML export, which isn't too bad. I do see some uh, little minor problems with the date displaying. Um, but overall, not too bad. And then in Excel, uh, the main problem seems to be that it's missing the yes and no uh, options. But these are definitely imperfect conversions. Um, but you can try to rectify some of it by uh, kind of going in here and cleaning it up a bit. But definitely, it seems like the Microsoft Word export is the best option to go with for the moment. So one more plugin that they're working on at Wondershare is called OCR. And the idea behind this tool is that for any forms you scan in with a printer, uh, well, a scanner technically, uh, you would have fields that are already filled out. Uh, and then with the OCR plugin, you're able to grab the entries on these fields and the fields themselves and basically convert them into editable form fields, uh, kind of like earlier how we scanned the fields and it worked fine, but then to actually grab the data in them as well. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the OCR plugin to work properly here yet. Uh, I did go ahead and post some bug reports on the Wondershare form, so I'm hoping that they go ahead and get this squared away. Because the idea of the plugin, being able to just have uh, all these forms lying around, not having to manually do the data entry for them, um, and just have basically uh, PDF Element 6 go ahead and automatically process them, seems like a really good tool to have. So I'm hoping that they uh, get this one together and uh, make it work in the near future. So I guess that brings us to the end of this video on PDF Element 6. My opinion of it uh, so far is that having a tool like this where you're able to edit and create PDFs, definitely invaluable software to have if you're in an office environment or you work with PDFs on a regular basis. And the free software out there, um, just like Foxit Reader, they give you the ability to read PDFs, but not to actually edit them. That's when you have to upgrade to the more premium software, of which PDF Element 6 is there as an option, alongside there with uh, Adobe Acrobat and Foxit PDF Phantom, I believe it's called. So overall, in the future, I do foresee this potentially being a very useful application to have as soon as they work these kinks out uh, with the conversion and importing of the OCR data. So what I would say is that if you're watching this video at a later date, go ahead and check out PDF Element 6. They have a free trial version that you can go ahead and see if these tools are gonna work for you. I'm gonna have links down below that send you off to the site. And then you can decide if PDF Element 6 is the creation and editing PDF tool that you want to go with. But for this video, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this review on PDF Element 6. I will see you all in my future video content.